Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Gemini credentials in NADN so you can make the most out of this new update. I'm also going to walk you through each of these nodes and their functionality so you can understand when and how they're supposed to be used. And last but not least, I'm going to show you this new model selector that they released, which apparently gives you the ability to provide input to the agent as to which model is supposed to use in order to execute a specific run. With that said, I want to start by first helping you set up your Gemini credentials. First and foremost, the first step is for you to make sure you're on the latest version of NADN. If you're not, give it a quick update. Once you do that, you should be able to see the Gemini nodes. So if you come here and you type Gemini, you should be able to see these nodes right here. Just click on one, add it to your workflow and then click on this pen icon right here in order to set up your credentials. You should see the host and then the API key should be missing. Once you're here, and of course you're gonna be missing your API key, go to this URL, aistudio.google.com slash API key. And before you create the API key, make sure you pull up your console.cloud.google.com URL and create a new project in your Google Cloud Console. Now, I already did this, so as you can see, and then X Gemini. All you have to do is click on new project and then just give it a name. Let's say any then Gemini created. You don't really have to allow any of the oaths or set anything further than that. Once you do that, let's refresh this and then create an API key. And now here we can just grab our project and it an Gemini and then you can click on uh, create API key in existing project and then it should populate your API key that you can then go ahead and paste right here. So it's very simple guys, nothing to really worry about, make sure you save it as well. And then uh, that's how you set up your Gemini credentials. Now, why is this update so important and everybody's talking about it? Well, the truth is guys, it's not really a big deal. Essentially, it kind of gives you more flexibility when it comes to using any data and it makes things even simpler because up to now, let's say you wanted to transcribe a recording and convert an audio file to a text, you only had the option of using the OpenAI transcriber. I think it's called Whisper. But the problem with that is that it has a limitation of 25 megabytes. So if you wanted to transcribe an audio file more than 25 megabytes, you couldn't really do it. Well, now you also have access to the Gemini transcription model. I don't know how that's called, but you can see it right here, transcriber recording. Another reason why people are kind of making a big deal out of this update is because it just makes things much smoother and simpler, as I said. Uh, an example is before, if you wanted to generate a video using VO3 through NADN, you had to set up a multi-node logic in order to make an API call or an HTTP request to uh, Gemini to run the VO3 model and then retrieve the output and whatnot. Now you don't need to do this. You have this node right here, generate video, and you can see that you can select the VO3 model. So you can pretty much give your agents the ability to generate videos or images with VO3 or I think it's, uh, yeah, 2.5 Pro directly with your agents with a native node. Now, some more nodes that they have added is this PDF extractor, which essentially allows you to give it as input a PDF file, and then it can pretty much download uh, and understand, understand the, the whole text. An image analyzer, so it gets an image file as an input, it analyzes this image, and it gives you some sort of output. You can also prompt these nodes, by the way. So describe what you see in this image in detail. Uh, you can see you can give it as input a binary file. Then we have this video analyzer, which essentially does the same thing as the, the image analyzer, but with video. And then the audio transcriber that I have shown you. This is a simple workflow I put together where you can just test these new Gemini functionalities. I'm gonna make it available to you for free inside my free school community. And also if you're somebody who's interested in starting your AI agency and you want to sign your first five clients and you want to partner with people who have been doing it for a while, check out my AI agency partner system. Sorry for the shameless plug guys. I just wanted to talk about it because one of our partners is in the process of signing a $200,000 a year client. And that's what we focus on there. High ticket clients. We don't mess with like low ticket, $500, $1,000 projects. We're just going straight for the big money. 
anyway let's go back to this okay uh, so yeah these are pretty much all these gemini nodes now here is uh in my opinion what's actually cooler than all these new gemini functionality is this model selector which essentially allows you to connect multiple different models to your agent and then you can like type a little shortcut or, or a little key in your input and the agent can use that specific model so if i click on this you can see that if our input does not start with these two characters it's going to use model one and model one is the gemini model gemini 2.5 pro and if our input starts with these two characters it's going to use OpenAI. so let's go ahead and give it a test now i'm not going to type the two characters and i'm just going to say hello and you can see it use Gemini uh, 2.5 Pro. Uh, and then if I go ahead and now I add these characters. Now, well, it takes a while to respond. I should have connected like flush to it. Let's just pause this. Now, if I type these two characters and then I say hello. Now, it's supposed to use the OpenAI chat model. As you can see right here. Because we stated in this model selector node. That when our input starts with these two characters it should use the OpenAI node. Uh, this is pretty much it, guys. These are the most interesting developments in the recent NADN update. If you like this video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel. If you want these templates, are gonna be free in my school. You're gonna have to get to level two to unlock them. All you have to do is get five likes. The reason I'm sharing this is because some people, they were reaching out to me, asking me questions. Bro, how do I get to level two so I can unlock all the free templates? Bro, just make an introduction post and people are going to like it and all you need is five likes on a post or either comment and you're going to get all my uh, templates. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.